Welcome to Coded. My name is Pontus and today I'm going to show you how you can get started with home automation with Tedless Center. So first off I'm going to show you the different devices. This one is the motion detector that you have seen before probably on my tutorial and this is the Telstick Duo. This is a radio transmitter and a radio receiver. In here we have a self-learning switch with you, which you can plug in to a wall and turn it off and on. This is a wireless door detector that will send signals when they leave each other. So now I'm going to show you how you can keep track of these devices on the Tedless Center software on your computer. Let's hook up the Telstick Duo to the computer through this micro USB to USB cable. So just plug it in. There we go. And you should see a starting light if everything works fine. The first thing you're going to check is so the firmware is updated on this device. So you can go and check out how to do that on tedlus.com. So now you should be prepared to set up all of your devices on the software Tedlus Center. So let's go ahead and do that. So first off, you need to download the Tedlus Center software. You can do that by go to tedlus.com. The link will be in the description and go to products and download software for Telstick and Telstick Duo. So you just go ahead and click and download and, and go through the steps in that installation. So afterwards you will get a software looking like this but with no devices here. So the first thing we're going to attach is this movement sensor. So then you click new and you can press scan. Now it will scan for the signals that the motion sensor sends out. And you will look for this self learning on and off. You name it sensor. The name can be anything. Then this thing you do not need to uh, care about. Just go ahead and save. So now have a look in this one while I wave my hand. It turns on. If you want to know which device it is have, you can go ahead and open your favorite code editor. So you can start typing var tellus is equal require and then var express is equal require express. Now you can start by declaring your app and then app.listen the port 3000 the function that should run and now you will define a listener, add device event listener. You will enter in the callback function, the device ID and the status of the device. And we log out the device ID. You can go ahead and run your code. So we bring up the terminal, node, scan. I assume you installed the Tellus and Express node packages. Afterwards you can run the code. Now we should get only one ID, which is free. Perfect. So that's how you get your ID when you have uh, successfully added your device to Tedlu Center. So I hope everything worked out great for you. Until next time, hit the subscribe button and uh, comment below what you want me to do next.